Coming in at number six, Elk, we have a guy who his last outing on the PGA Tour, he was a winner. In fact, he's had top 10 finishes in his last three starts. With that win coming at the Barbasol just a couple of weeks ago, he beat JT Poston in a playoff and Seamus Power is our number six. As you just noted, you noted why I'm picking him this week, Diane. He's on his way up and yes, he won. I watched him beat uh, JT Poston in the Barbasol uh, and a great win for this young man. He's been, his name is popping up a little bit more and more on the tour. Now he's a winner, but I, I, I just think to myself, imagine how good he feels going to this tournament. Imagine how relaxed he is. You know, he's won a tournament. He now can stand beside all these other top players on the putting green and know that he's won on tour, how relaxed he is. You know, things are, the mind is just incredible on the tour. Sometimes you just can't get out of your own way, but the gates are open for this young man and off he goes. Imagine at the start of the season, um, being able to put a little bet on saying who has a higher chance of finishing well he's 73 in the FedEx Cup but who's going to lock down their tour card between Ricky Fowler or Seamus Power I mean and even Ricky's not the best example but if you were to say Justin Rose or Adam Scott and Seamus Power and you look where he is in the standings after an incredible season imagine being Seamus Power on the putting green putting next to Justin Rose and he looks over and he thinks, well, that guy's not even going to be out here next year on tour, the US Open champion, the Olympic medalist. So all these mind games that, that torture us tour players, Diane. But when you have the Mo on your side, it's the most gorgeous feeling in the world is when you have momentum on tour because it just frees you up so much. Yeah, and uh, Power's third in scrambling on the tour this year, 29th in birdie average. So we talk about that win, those two top tens right before that, no surprise at all. 